Hello guys, this is Beautiful Colors. Welcome back to my channel for part two of my collection and finished pages and so forth. And I'm going to say one more time uh, that this is in no way intended for or aimed at children. This is an adult coloring channel um, for just that, us adult colorists who want to share each other's collections and pages and all fun things like that. Okay, so let me just try to adjust my camera. Um, let me apologize for my child. Uh, I may have to try to cut and finagle a lot out of the last part, but um, you might still hear a lot of her. And even if she comes in here while I'm doing the second part, um, I apologize, but I don't have anyone else to help me with her right now. So this is Enfamil by uh, Hatchet Heroes Art Therapy, 60 Coloriages, Coloriage, however you say that. Um, this is a French coloring book, and I got this from Amazon UK. Um, it cost a heck of a lot to ship. Oh, just in a minute, baby. You, not right now. Eat your mac and cheese. Um... Like I was saying, these cost a heck of a lot to ship and all that jazz when you are buying them from out of country. Um, I live in the U.S. and I got this from Amazon UK. It probably cost me uh, 25-ish bucks for the book and shipping. And it took a long time to get here. But this is a really cool book. And I have started one in here, but I do not like how it's turning out. So... I guess I will show you guys because I kind of have to. Whew, it's heavy. Um, let me let me just do it this way. Uh, this book is very fragile. Let me say that um, because the way it's bound here uh, with glue at the top, uh, yeah, it comes out very easily. So you just have to handle with care. Don't be tugging on it or nothing like that. But I absolutely am a huge Disney fan. And I love this book. I'm not going to show you every picture, but some of the first pictures, like this one and that Bambi one, some of the first pictures in this book are my absolute favorites. And this is on my first, you know, my, my top priority to color because I want to color this one so bad. This one too. I love that one. But, um, you know, like it says in Famille, this is just basically Disney characters and their family. So Lilo and her sister. This is the one that I started. Now beware, this is going to be a very scary sight. I don't like how it's turning out at all. So I don't know if I will even finish it. Um, but this was my attempt to try to do like a Copic and um, Sharpie background kind of thing. <sighs> With pencil on top, which I suck at I'm horrible at doing marker with pencil on top but I also don't practice it a lot and so this was going to be a way for me to kind of practice it um so I don't know if I'm really going to intend for this to be like the most amazing prettiest picture if I do continue with this it will like I said just probably be practice with pencil on top of marker so that the next time I attempt it it doesn't come out like this but also, the way that Nemo and Marlin all are drawn so thick, like, the lines are so thick and they're so, like, up in front with these big, huge black lines. I don't really like particularly this, like, the style of this picture is drawn. I love Finding Nemo, but not one of my favorite pictures in the book, and it's probably why... It was the one that I chose to jump onto because I wasn't, like, so terrified of, like, messing it up. Because any of the other pages in the book, if I would have messed it up, I would have just been so upset. But I love this book. Oh, yeah, another thing to note about this book before I forget. Um, for some reason, a lot of the pictures are offset. I don't know why. Um, it, maybe it's just this copy. Maybe it's all of them. But as you can see the frame does not sit in the center of the page it kind of goes off and that is with a lot of them but you know the fact that i'm such a huge disney fan and there's not a whole lot of fantastic disney coloring books out there 
because a lot of our adult coloring books have, you know, all of those patterns and stuff in them, and I don't particularly like that. Um, so that's why I was so, you know, prone on getting the ones from France and like, um, what's it? Amazon UK has good ones. Amazon, uh, basically like the Chinese ones, like the Japanese ones and the, the French Disney ones. Those are all really good coloring books, but here's another one that's offset. But, I mean, if, if that's not something you really care about and you still love the images, you know, by all means, go ahead. Buy the book. It's a great one. I love it. Um, okay, so this is Art Therapy Star Wars, an anti-stress coloring book. Um, and I absolutely love this book. I got it from Ollie's for $2.99. Woohoo! Um, yes, I love a bargain deal, especially on coloring books where I can definitely spend a lot of money in that area. Um... Excuse me, I'll get a sip of tea. Um, this one has a lot of pages that I wouldn't color. So, for instance, this. I'm not going to color that. That is just... This just um, this just not going to happen. I'm not going to color that. Um, also, pictures like this. They're cool. I love them. Not sure if I would ever color them. I might one day. Also, these mandala type ones, I'm not sure if I would ever color, but this right here is the reason, the reason why I bought this book is because there are a few pages in here that are done like this that are just gorgeous images that I would absolutely love to color. And there's a couple of them in here, so I'm going to try to show them to you. Let me see if I can flip through. I'm talking so dang much, I'm getting out of breath here. There's another one. Isn't that just gorgeous I mean even if you got this book and you only colored the ones that are in here like this which is just a few it's worth it to me because that's going to be gorgeous when it's finished I mean and if you want to do the weird mandala ones I mean you go right ahead I probably won't do it there's Yoda Lord Jesus all these doodly stuff I don't know I just don't really like it but I mean that, like that's cute it might be fun to do some of these characters um the ones that i probably will really really stay away from are the weird mandala ones all of these other ones there's a high possibility that i would color um let's see if i can find that other one so there's that one absolutely gorgeous love it um and there's this one again cannot wait to do this one so i think think I think that's all of them yeah that's all of the ones that are like really nice like pictures to color so Star Wars art therapy hey baby I love you all right um so this is art of coloring Disney animals 100 images to inspire and I do apologize if I have not said where I've gotten every book from um most of my books come from Amazon, but not every single one have come from Amazon. Also, um, a handful of them were gifts, so not all of them I purchased for myself. Uh, this one, this one was a recent holiday gift from my mother. Um, this is Art of Coloring, Disney Animals, 100 Images to Inspire, Creativity and Relaxation. So this is one of the... Um, one of the American Disney adult coloring books that, like I was saying, has a lot of patterns. But with that being said, at first, you know, I was put off by it and I was like, nah, I won't ever own a book like that. But I have seen people where they just ignore the patterns and then they just color the picture and it turns out great. So what I'll probably do is just that. And, you know, if you want to highlight some of the, the designs and the pictures, you know, you could use some gel pen and you know highlight some of the designs. Um, but if anything, it just leaves the picture with more texture. So um, I'm not completely mad at it and I will give it a chance because I love Disney. And a lot of these pictures in here, I would see myself color. Like, I would 
I see myself coloring that. That. Th that. That's super cute. I would, I would color a lot of these. And I can't wait to actually try one because I haven't colored anything in it yet. And I know you've probably noticed this. <coughs> like, wow, you haven't colored in a lot of your books. <coughs> You're right. Which is why I said I want to try to start coloring in as many of the ones I haven't touched as possible because I have a lot of books and not enough time. This one is one of my absolute favorites. Have not colored in this one yet either, but this one is very intimidating, which is why I have not colored in this one. Um, I need a sip of tea because my mouth's getting super dry. <clears throat> my throat's getting raspy. I haven't talked this much in a while. Um, so Disney Dreams Collection by Thomas Kincaid. And if you don't know who Thomas Kincaid is, he also is an author that does beautiful, beautiful paintings with like Disney themed and landscape themed. Um, he does a lot of landscapes, but he also does, you know, Disney related things. And so what they've done, <clears throat> excuse me, is they put his paintings into line work next to his painting for you to color. And I absolutely love this book. It's extremely intimidating, but I feel like you could do your best to make this look gorgeous by simply looking over the next page and trying to copy the colors and all of that. You can't get it exactly how this is because obviously this is a painting, but you could get it very close. And I mean, his artwork is gorgeous and the line work, you know, was done very well too. So, I mean, you can make these pictures look absolutely gorgeous and they're super detailed. Um, so they would take a long time, which is why I haven't started one. Again, another reason, because they're intimidating and because I know it'll take a long time, but I love, love, love Winnie the Pooh. I'm a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. <laughs> Pumpkin, can you take that in there for right now? Please. Just till I'm done. I'm almost done. I gotta go. I gotta go. Girl, that ain't English. Why are you taking Okay, you have to be quiet, okay? You can take it in there if you want to, but you have to be quiet, okay? What? Uh, uh, what is that? I know, that's Lumiere and Cogsword. That is <clears throat> Yes, okay. Sorry, guys. Apologize for her, but. She wants to sit here for right now, so. Um, so, like I was saying, I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. I'm a huge Winnie the Pooh fan, and I love this book. So, this is Thomas Kincaid. Um, this book, for, for what it is, the quality and the beautiful images that you get, it's even if you go to the bookstore and you pay full price for it, it's only 13 bucks. I mean, that's a great price to me. Um, but on Amazon, you can sometimes catch it for even cheaper. So, let me see, I have these books way over here, I can't reach them. Alright, so next we're going to do Pop Manga Coloring Book, and surprise, surprise, I've actually done one in each of my Pop Manga books, so we're going to get to see some finished coloring pages. This is Camilla De, Camilla De Erico Pop Manga Coloring Book, um, a surreal, surreal. Surreal journey through a cute, curious, bizarre, and beautiful world. Um, the cover, gorgeous. The artwork, gorgeous. I love it. This one comes with a jacket. Um, and this beautiful blue. Oh, Lord, hold on. I'm going to have to adjust my phone because I have the low battery thing popping up. So I'm going to have to make sure I keep an eye on that. Okay, do apologize. Okay, so it has this beautiful blue cover with the, I mean, you could color that if you wanted to. Um, it has these stars over here on the inside. You could color those if you wanted to. Um, so I love this book. I love her art style. It's very sketchy. Um, I absolutely love this one. I can't wait to do that one. Probably gonna do that one really soon. Um, uh, the book takes, you know, most mediums very well. You cannot use alcohol markers. However, 
if you want to, you can just be prepared to sacrifice, you know, the opposite, you know, the back, the, the back of the page, you know, sacrifice an image because it will bleed through. Um, and this is the one that I did. So as you can see, there's some shiny bits. I don't know if it's going to pick up for you. Hopefully it does. The leash is shiny. I think, um, the collar is shiny, so there's some gel pen in there. Uh, but I did the background with pastels, soft pastels, Mungyo soft pastels. Um, and then, <clears throat> let me think. I don't quite remember, but I think I did this with Arteza. Yeah, I did a, I don't think you can tell, no, because it, it did not bleed through. But I did um, the dragon. I did a complete base of Neo Color 2s on this weird dragon thing. Um, and then I did over it with pencil. So, I don't, mm, I mean, I like it. She's cute. But, I don't know. Hopefully next time my picture will turn out better. But I like the color palette and everything. Super cute book. Super, super cute. So, that's Pop Manga Coloring Book by Camille D'Arco. And this one is Pop Manga Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures by Camille D'Arco. And I have done one page in this and also, ugh, cover is gorgeous. Bath is gorgeous. Artwork is gorgeous. I love it. This one also has a dust jacket. You could color this if you wanted to. I know I would love to, but I don't know if I will. Let's see if there's something on the back of it. So if you want to do alcohol markers, I don't know if it would bleed through, um, but this has a very glossy, smooth surface that nothing on the other side. So, I mean, you got these super cute, ugh, super, super cute um, seahorses you can color as well. Um, again, yep, and there's something on the back of that one too. But I have done one in here, and it was supposed to be like a buddy color thing. Um... But, uh, I just got really sick, so I just ended up doing it on my own, really. But, this is the one that I did. And so, the background was Neo Color 2s, and then, as you can see, you can see the, I don't know if you can tell, but the bubbles are glitter gel pen. Um, her scales, there's some glitter gel pen, um... I absolutely love the colors. I think this blue with this pink colors pop very well. And I think this is Prismacolor. Her skin is Prismacolor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything is in Prismacolor. Oh, her her hair is also a base of Neo Color too. Um, with pencils on top. So, apparently, <laughs> as I suck with doing markers and pencils on top, Neo Color 2 and pencils on top are not that bad. Um... And when I wanted to do her hair, I know it looks really red, but I wanted it to be like a brunette color, but it's more like, it's more like, I don't even know, like an orangey red, but I kind of like it. I think it turned out all right. Um, and I did this 2-6-2020, so I finished this this month, actually, on the 6th. I started this in January for, what was the hashtag? Um... The January hashtag where you had to color a mermaid or whatever. But I didn't end up finishing it in January. So I didn't like, I didn't submit it or I didn't submit it in time. But that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I still love it. I think it's gorgeous how it turned out. And I can't wait to do more in this book. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Okay. So on to the next one. Let me see. This is the only Jade Summer book that I have. Um, so this is Dragons by Jade Summer, and I love this book. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the paper or what, something about it turns me off to coloring it. And I did start one. There's no tape, but I have started one in here because you can see the paper. I got the, um, copy paper. Um, but I love this book, and I, like, I love dragons, and, like, I love this style of drawing. These images are great, but 
I don't know. Like, I got this book a couple months ago and I really thought, you know, oh my God, I'm going to sit down and color a dragon. But, I mean, I haven't yet. For whatever reason. And this is the one that I started, but it's in the front of the book, so I'll show you in a minute. I love these dragons. That is a gorgeous image. I love it. I'll probably do that one. Um, but, I mean, some of these dragons look weird in the face. Like, I don't know what's going on with that dragon, but it just be looking weird in the face. Um, all types of different kinds of dragons, but let me just show you real quick the one that I'm starting. I started, so I started this one, and this is, because this is a single side book, I mean, I don't, you can't really tell, but you kind of can. This was my attempt, again, at marker with pencil on top, for here anyways. So I did marker here, and I did marker on these dark leaves right here. Um... This is completely pencil, and this and this is completely pencil. But that's the only thing that I've done. Oh, and the grass right here is completely pencil. Um, and I have not um, finished this yet, obviously, as you can tell. But for some reason, like this Create Space paper or whatever this paper is, is so thin um, that the like you can feel when I push down the blend with the pencil you can feel like it indents the paper. Like you can feel the indentions and you can feel like the roughness or whatever. You can even see like in, it indents back here. Like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I don't know if this is the, you know, my absolute favorite paper in the world, but I'm pretty sure this is all Create Space paper, which is the same paper that's in the Hannah Carlson books. And I love, you know, those books. Maybe it's just because I love the drawings and I put up with it because I love the drawings or this is Arteza those were Prismacolor I don't know I don't know I'll get back to it and I'll finish it um and we'll see how that turns out in my next video when I get it done so that was Dragons by Jade Summer um and I know I didn't say this but you get you basically get three copies of the book because you get one in the front one in the back um, so, like, it splits down the middle, this copy, this copy, and then you get a digital copy. You get a code. <clears throat> this is a, I know what you're thinking, My Little Pony. But, um, so I grew up watching My Little Pony. I love it. Super, super cute show. And I saw this at Dollar General. So, usually these cheap kids' books, usually the coloring paper, like the paper in it, usually is like that you know super brittle newspaper style you know of paper and it's god awful but this is actually decent paper and it's by Benden and these pictures are so cute I love them it's white paper it's toothy um the only thing that I wish is that it wasn't double-sided because if it wasn't double-sided I would be like I'll call markers all the way in this whole thing. It would be so much fun to do that. Um, but I think this is genuinely a super cute book. And I think I may have started one. Honestly, I don't know because I didn't mark it. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I started, oh. I was going to test to see if the marker would bleed through. And that's not even alcohol marker. I'm pretty sure that's just super tips. Or maybe it's alcohol. I don't even remember. But anyways, it bled through. And I love Applejack. And I would have loved to do this page. I mean, maybe I'll just do this blue. I don't know. Maybe I can cover it up. Um, but, you know, I love this book. Super cute. Super cheap. It might have been like two bucks from Dollar General. So, I was like, why not? Um, so, this is Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. And we're getting on to the Johanna Basford books. Um, and we're at 24 minutes here. So, we'll get along and maybe do a part three. Because I have two stacks of books over here still. Because I had to pause the last one a little bit early. Because of my daughter. But, um, this is Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. And everyone knows this book. I have not finished it. Finished it. I haven't even started it. 
Um, it's got a dust jacket. And um, I'm mad at myself that I haven't done anything in here. But I'm going to soon. Really, really soon. I'm not going to like take my time because I know everyone knows this book. That's Enchanted Forest. Then we have Lost Ocean. So this one is also super, 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 super recent. Like I know a lot of people, this is a lot of people's like first coloring book. Um, this one in like um, Secret Garden and things, but this one was a present from my mother this past holiday season. Um, and from December, January into February, I was very, very sick. Um, I had the flu, then I got bronchitis, and then I got pleurisy. So, basically, that's also a reason why I don't have a whole, whole lot more colored. Because I've been sick for the last, like, three months. Um, and I didn't color at all because I just felt like crap the whole time. But, anyways, this is Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford, and a lot of you know this book. Um, it has this huge fold-out thing in the back, which I think is honestly really cool. And I might actually color one day because it's just really cool. Um, also, Enchanted Forest has a big fold-out in the back, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys know it's the dragons. Most of you probably know if so I've already seen it. So, I love this book, but honestly, like, you see, like, how tiny that is? That is so tiny. I don't know if it won't focus. That is so tiny that, I mean, it would even be difficult to get in there with a gel pen, honestly. A gel pen would probably be all over the place because that's just so, so tiny. Um, not every page of hers is super tiny details like that, but a lot of it is. Um... But I do see myself coloring like this. This is probably one of the first ones that I'll do. Because I just love this. Um, I might start on it soon. Uh, this wallpaper page. Super cute. Um, I don't genuinely like wallpapers. But this is one that I might would do. Because like it's just cute. Um, I like this one. Don't know if I would ever do that. Because it would take a flipping decade. I love this one. All the different fish. That would be fun to color, right? Um, so, yeah. There's a lot in there I would color. A lot. I probably wouldn't. On to Magical Jungle. So, as you can see, this one's taking a beating. But this is also one of my very first coloring books. And so, there was a Target sticker right here that I tried to peel off. Um, and that, like, ruined it. So that looks all wonky. Um, there's some stains down here, some marker up there, some marker over here, but this is because I've colored in this quite a lot, as you can tell. Um, and my, I always have it out when I color in it. I always have it out on my desk and everything. And because I've colored in it so much, my daughter comes by with her markers. She likes to color in my lap and stuff like that, so. She scribbles on it, and the back of it's really dirty, um, just because I've used it a lot, and it's been on my desk a lot, but, um, this is the first one I've done in Magical Jungle, um, and as you can see, it's smudged over here, uh, that's because I was using a Sharpie fine liner to go over it, and then I swiped it before it dried, and it smeared. Won't use Sharpie again. Um... But I like this one. It's alright. I don't know if I'll do a background. I might come back later and do a background. We'll see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I did one in here following Chris Ching's tutorial. And unfortunately, because for whatever reason this book decided to fall apart, it has come out of the book. But this is the one that Chris Chang did a tutorial of, and I just did the best that I could to follow it. And this was the first tutorial I ever did, and I absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong, this took me like eight weeks to do forever, but the outcome is gorgeous. 
this is one that I would actually probably frame. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to because I kind of want to do this one. But I don't know. If I mean, if I decided to frame it and I did this side, I mean, I could flip, I could switch them out, you know, or just keep it in the book. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. That one just took me a long time and I really like it. So, again, child scribbled on it. Depressing, but I had done these three leaves, some water drops, all of this is Prismacolor. Um, and then what else have I done? I'm pretty sure you've seen everything else. So I have still haven't picked up on this. Um, I need to finish this though because I really feel like it's going to be very pretty. And I want to be able to put some gel pen in it. So I might do that. Um, and I've done this one. This is the one that I did recently where you saw me do the bokeh effect tutorial on my channel. Um, and so this is the finished, finished picture. The background I think think I did with black acrylic paint. Um, everything else is Prismacolor and the background with Prismacolor and blending, blending medium. Um, for some reason, Lord, let me, let me adjust this real quick because I'm having this low battery thing pop up again. I'm going to have to pause after this book, unfortunately. I know I have one more Johanna Bass one book over there, but I have to charge my phone. Um, for some reason, this is splotchy. I don't know why, but I've already sprayed it with workable fixative, so, I mean, I can't go in and fix it now. Um, I think that's it in this book. Yeah, that's it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here again. I'm going to charge my phone and then I am going to work on part three. And I'm going to try to get all my last books in part three. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe comment down below what you thought. You know, maybe if there's a book you've seen that you like that you wanted to flip through of or you know whatever just comment down below feel free to um i usually try to reply to everyone that you know, comments on my videos but um as for now uh see you in part three bye